Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 1.1.5, which I'm calling Operation Debug. Now, before I get into why this patch is called that, I'm going to show you guys the things that I can in a video form, and then I'm going to kind of talk a bit and explain the name of the patch and uh, what uh, what's going on with that. So the first thing I'll show you is that I have set it up so that industrial plots, regardless of add-on pack and regardless of what the NPC is doing on that plot, uh, will show up with that scavenger icon. Uh, and that is so that you can tell who's assigned because prior, some of the NPCs would just show the waving pit boy icon, which was very hard to tell then if they actually had a job without using the ASAM vision. So this way, if they've got uh, an industrial plot, and you can see over there I've got JT Bryant's utilities installed, and uh, in the version I have, I'm, he may have fixed it since I made this video, but in the version I have, it didn't have an icon, but after this patch, it does. So you can see there underneath the name Settler, it says assigned to in the picture of the uh, vulture. That is the icon that will represent industrial plots going forward. Now, unfortunately, that also means they get this bizarre behavior where they wander around with their gun out, but that is just an AI package issue. There is, I'm, I'm fairly certain there's a mod already out there that can uh, stop this behavior, and I will eventually come up with a new AI package for the industrial plot so that the NPCs can kind of chill and do what they're supposed to. But until then, they will wander a bit, which I believe was a decision by Bethesda to just give your settlement a little more liveliness, have some people wandering around. Uh, so that will continue. The next thing I can show you is that uh, ASAM Vision no longer considers your spotlights homeless. So that's a good thing. Uh, there are some other random tweaks in ASAM Vision. You'll want to check out the full patch notes. And uh, I've also made it so that when you leave, uh, you're still going to get this message if you activate the switch about you being within your boundaries, but it will automatically shut it off. So you'll see out there all their shaders go away. So if, you, if you're not sure if you turned it off when you left, you can just go ahead and hit that uh, switch again, knowing that it will turn off when you get that warning. And then the last thing I think I can easily show you is, as usual, I've added a new option to the holo tape. Uh, so in general, in patches lately, I've been telling you, hey, I made this fix, but you've got to go hit your plots with the immersion breaker, which I know is a pain in the butt uh, because of how frequently it happens. Uh, in this patch in particular, I did change, I fixed all of the random beds that the default Sim Settlements buildings use so that uh, they all count as one. So I know there were some that counted as two, which would make your bed count all weird. Uh, and so rather than you having to go now to each plot, you just can go to each settlement one time and click this refresh local plots. And I would love to make it so that you just had to do it once for your entire game, but it does require you to be in the settlement for uh, the immersion breaker uh, type of function to work correctly. So you're going to get this message saying it might take a few minutes. And then when you exit your pit boy, you're going to start getting messages in the corner saying refreshing plot, for example, one of seven. Uh, and it'll count up and it'll just slowly go through and refresh all of your plots so that they have the latest data. Now, uh, the difference between this and other times where I've had these uh, pop-ups is you can still do stuff. You don't have to just sit here doing nothing. Um, you can absolutely keep building more plots. You can destroy things. You can add more stuff. You can do whatever you want um, while you're in your settlement. Just kind of make sure you don't leave your settlement. I also wouldn't just completely demolish any plots that are being refreshed. I have no idea how that would... Uh, uh, it should be fine, but just for the sake of um, your game's safety and well-being, I just wouldn't do that. All right, and then um, other than that, I think the rest of the changes are kind of in at code level, so be sure to check out the patch notes, but I want to talk about now why uh, this patch is called Operation Debug, and that's because this the, some of the major fixes in this are kind of ongoing. I am unable to replicate some of the major issues you guys have reported, nor are my beta testers. Uh, and just to pause real quick, this is the message you'll get telling you it's it's safe to leave. Okay, so we're unable to replicate some of these issues. The two big issues we can't replicate reliably are crash to desktops during fast travel in and out of a settlement and the uh, reassignment issue where you will come home and some of your uh, former plot farmers are now uh, plot shop owners, etc. So uh, w what I've done is I've started to research the issues and I'm finding that they're kind of engine level issues. So there's some things I can do and some things I can't do. So let's talk about crash to desktop first. If you're one of those people experiencing the crash to desktop issue on fast travel, there are two reasons that this can happen. One is that you're just so far over the build limit that your game can't handle it. And that's the vanilla build limit. So uh, for example, right now, 
you'll see that I'm about uh, two thirds, maybe just over half of uh, the build limit. If you guys had altered your build limit with a mod, uh, you won't even know that you're over the build limit. And if you're using some settlements, you also won't know if you're over because the structures themselves, the things that are built on top of the plots do not directly affect uh, that uh, build limit. So if you're far, far over the build limit, sometimes, especially on Xbox, your game just can't render it correctly all at once uh, and you crash that way. That type of crash to desktop is usually resolved by just fast traveling to the area nearby and just walking into your settlement uh, because then it can render a little bit at a time instead of having to all of a sudden load everything into memory. The other big way your game can crash is if there's just so much scripting going on at once that it goes over the script limit uh, and then the game just doesn't know what to do and so rather than failing elegantly and letting some of those scripts fail, uh, it just crashes completely. So. Uh, while Sim Settlements doesn't do even close to enough to crash a game on its own, the combination of Sim Settlements with a lot of other, with a bunch of other mods that also have scripts, uh, with some of the workshop items that are scripted, it can just put too much a load on some of your systems. Again, especially on Xbox. So what I'm gonna do from going forward is start optimizing Sim Settlements code in the in the. Uh, sense of what's all happening simultaneously. So I'm going to start staggering some things out that previously were all happening at once uh, to help you help alleviate uh, that issue for those of you who are experiencing it. I know it's not a ton of you, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, if one user can't use it, then that's not acceptable. So I'm going to keep optimizing this. I've done some major optimizations in this version, and so I'd love to hear back from those of you experiencing the crash to desktop if I've done enough to help you guys out. That would be great to hear. Uh, but I'm going to continue optimizing optimizing and this patch does quite a bit so if you show up in your settlement and you notice that maybe something's like tweaked at a weird angle uh, that is because a lot of the rotation and scaling code is some of the stuff that I've um, that I've staggered so you might after an upgrade have to wait a few seconds after you arrive in a settlement for it to be in the proper position now going on to the assignment issue uh, this one is uh, usually a matter of somebody will be assigned, say, to this farm right here, and you'll come back, and now they're assigned to this farm or assigned to a shop or something. Uh, to help alleviate that, going forward, so this this won't apply to, to plots you've already built and assigned unless you were to reassign them. But going forward, all plots will kind of keep track of who was assigned to them. It'll keep a record of their uh, form ID. So that way, if they get unassigned and no one else, and that NPC wasn't assigned to something else, which means to the game code that the uh, the engine just lost track of it, which can happen, uh, it'll try and reassign them itself. So the plot will kind of try and keep guys assigned to where they were so that you don't end up with these random reassignments. So going forward, any plots you build. So take, take note if you were having those assignment issues and you start a new settlement, take note if that issue is resolved. I would love to hear if that comes back up because then that means there's more I can try and do. But note that this is an engine issue with losing track of the assignments. So those are the two major issues. We did a lot of testing. Uh, it's so this code, this code. I wouldn't call it experimental. It's definitely safe, um, but I don't know that it's enough to fully alleviate those issues. So I'd love to hear from you guys who are having them if I've made any progress. Okay, guys, uh, that's all for this patch. There are a lot of random little things, so be sure to check out the notes. I'm going to continue doing these patches uh, every week to get you guys bug fixes, uh, but the major features that I'm working on right now are all going into the expansion, which is uh, just going into alpha testing now, so uh, you guys can get excited for that. It is on the horizon. I don't still have a deadline, because, or I'm sorry, a timeline, because I want to make sure that this thing is working beautifully before I release it to you guys. All right, guys, enjoy the mod and take care.